You can see right away that this is the, uh, the drill that we're using to remove that, that bone. So I'm doing my hemilaminotomy, which is essentially just removing half of that bone on one side of the lamina. I'm using the drill, it's a very small drill. You can, you can see the sound, that is bone dusk. And I'm checking very frequently to make sure that I'm not going too deep. Thank you to the folks over at Unacademy for sponsoring this video. Unacademy is a educational platform that specializes in helping students become successful and over 65 exam types. One in particular that I really want to highlight is for their USMLE preparation. They offer a one-stop solution for what you need to know to, in order to be successful on step one. For those that don't know what step one is, this is an eight hour exam that is taken after your second year of medical school. Well, whether you need some in-depth learning or just a quick review of the content, refresher. Unacademy has it all. They have live classes where you can just jump in, ask questions. They have pre-recorded lectures if you needed to brush up on certain concepts. And also a 25,000 practice question bank that you can use to test your knowledge. You guys should check them out today. There's a link in the description for 75% off their early bird price. So when you hear about the word disc herniation, or if you hear about the surgery, a microdiscectomy or hemilaminotomy, well, what do these words mean? In this video today, we're gonna to chat about that. What's up guys, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. So I've been wanting to put out some surgical videos and uh, I have a lot of plans for the future and hope to bring you guys a lot of more about basically uh, the surgeries that I do and kind of describing some of the steps, showing you guys some of the in ins and outs of the operating room. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about a microdiscectomy. Micro means small, discectomy means basically to remove disc. Ectomy means to remove. Uh, and disc is just the jelly portion or the cushion that normally resides between one portion of the spine and the next. It's your shock absorber. And over time, this disc will degenerate. It will what's called desiccate and dry out. It's more likely to herniate from injury, from a trauma, from a fall, or if the disc is just degenerated, it can spit out and push on the nerve. So depending on which nerve has been pushed on, let's say at the L4 or L5 level, it's usually the L5 nerve root, patients will have either back pain or leg pain that shoots down their leg and it's sometimes to their foot. Sometimes they can have weakness. And the good thing is that most of these herniations will, will, will essentially absorb over time and get smaller. And, and 80 to 90% of these patients don't need surgery. But there are some patients that fail conservative treatments, either anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxants, oral steroids, injections, epidural steroid injections, physical therapy. And if a patient fails all these conservative options, then that's when we talk about surgery. Well, a microdiscectomy, as I mentioned, micro means small, discectomy, uh, removing that disc or that herniation that's pushing on the nerve. Uh, and hemilaminotomy, what that means. So this is the spine here, and this is the lumbar spine down here. This is the thoracic spine, cervical spine. Uh, so the lumbar spine is most likely to have the herniations. This is the back of the spine. This is the spinous process at every single level here. And then this is the lamina on both sides. You have one at every single level in your spine, except the top cervical vertebrae. So the lamina here, a hemilaminotomy, hemi means half, lamina, otomy means essentially to remove also. So you're removing a portion of this bone here and you have to get to the bone to remove, to get to the herniation. Uh, because this is the disc, the cushion, that is between each of these bones here. And when you have a herniation, it's the jelly portion or the nucleus pulposus that actually spits out and pushes on the nerve. You can actually see a little example of that here. 
This is an example of a herniation. And the nerve is just right back here. At every single level, it comes out at both sides. So let's say a patient has a herniation on the left side at L405. It pushes on this nerve here. When you push on that nerve, patients can have really debilitating pain, sharp pain, burning, stabbing, lightning pain, I've heard it all, that shoots down the leg and they have sometimes very severe back pain. So essentially what this surgery entails is drilling away or using special instruments called kerosens to remove this bone here. Right under there, there are some ligaments called the ligamentum flavum. It attaches on the ventral or the front portion of this here. I have to remove that, that's usually two layers and then there should be epidural fat. So the epidural fat is a sign from God that is telling you that you should slow down. So whenever you see fat around anything in the body, that's either you've eaten too much, just joking, or that there's an important structure nearby. So this important structure for this level is the nerve and the spinal canal, or the thecal sac is what we call it at this level here. Um, and I have to basically get um, around that epidural fat and then right under there will be the nerve. I essentially move the nerve, gently move it out of the way if it needs to be, and then take a little knife into this disc here and remove the herniation. So we're actually gonna watch some of the uh, surgical video and I'll point some things out that I'm doing um, in the procedures, actually from two separate patients, but we're gonna merge the videos into one. I'll show you guys kind of some of the steps. So. You can see right away that this is the uh, the drill that we're using to remove that, that bone. So I'm doing my hemilaminotomy, which is essentially just removing half of that bone on one side of the lamina. I'm using the drill, it's a very small drill. You can, you can see the sound, that is bone dusk. And I'm checking very frequently to make sure that I'm not going too deep. Because if I go too deep, I'll play this again, um, I can push into the nerve and you can get what's called a dural tear, which your spinal fluid leaks out. So, and it can injure your nerve. I'm checking with the drill. I'm, I'm just touching very softly. This is a three millimeter burr. And it just makes sure that I'm not going too far. And just as a orientation, your feet are down here. Your head is up here. This is medial, this is lateral. So I made my incision. These are special retractors here that hold the skin back in place. This is the metal drill, and this is the, uh, the, the uh, bone dust here. So the second part of this, is I'm basically using what's called a kerosene. So this is a special instrument that can bite away bone. You can see the kerosene, the instrument, and that there's, there's a little bleeding there. We try to control the bleeding. So the feet are down here. The head is up here. This is medial, this is lateral. And this, this is the lig some of the ligamentum that we're seeing here. Right here, basically I'm just removing some of that ligament that may be pressing on the, the nerve as well. This is a, uh, a, a sucker here, just sucking the fluid away. We'll go through that again. Using the kerosen, you can see the bone that's in the, the mouth of the kerosen there. The sucker is in the, uh, the left side of the, the uh, screen. Using the kerosen again in my right hand. See a little bleeding there, which is normal. Using the sucker there. I can see the nerve coming in just in the view at the um, three o'clock position there. Another kerosene here, we're moving that bone. There's a nerve right there. Right there, that's a nerve. So whenever I see that, you gotta be very careful. This is a cervical carette here. I just use that to kind of fill around and kind of clear any soft tissue out of the way. Once we move the nerve out of the way, we have to uh, get to the disc. And we use a, a knife, a little small, very small knife, 15 millimeter blade to actually cut into the disc, and that's what, exactly what I did. So this is some of the herniation right here that's pressing on the nerve, that white. I'll just rewind that, and you can see this little white area, but that's the, the herniation at the bottom of the screen there, that white, that's, that's a disc, and that's what the disc looks like, it looks white. 
This is a pituitary. It's an instrument that I, I can grab things with. So it's a micro pituitary, so very small. And I'm just in the disc space. So I'm, I'm, I'm essentially, I'm grabbing some of that disc, trying to remove all of it, just like this right here. I'm in that area, grabbing the instruments, going back and forth into the bone here. So right here, grabbing, going in. This bone is already removed, so there's space so that I can work around in this area right here. All right, so we're doing a discectomy, laminotomy and discectomy. I mean, this patient has a really severe leg pain from a uh, disc herniation. We're using a microscope. You can see the, uh, on the screen here, I'll show you. This is the, uh, the nerve right here. nice and free, the disc herniation is removed, so hopefully her leg pain improves. So this is a microdiscectomy or hemilaminotomy. There, we use those terms kind of interchangeably, but uh, these are two terms that describe a procedure that is done for patients with disc herniation. So, hope this video helped you guys. Hope you, you guys learned something and I hope I can uh, do more of these for you. So if you liked it, comment in the like, in the comments below. Let me know if you liked it. Give me a likes up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.